Tilly and today I am here with my December book haul. I bought books, I received books, and I am just a very happy person in general. And the first one is The Star Touch Queen by Roshani Chokshi. And this one I am also currently reading. I am like a hundred, no I'm not, I'm like 70 pages in and I'm kind of like stuck on it. So if you guys have read this book please let me know what it is like so that I can know if it gets better or not so that I can hopefully be encouraged to read more of it and sooner. I was told to read this by a few people because apparently it's very similar to The Wrath and the Dawn and because I love The Wrath and the Dawn so much I wanted to pick up something very similar to it so I did. Next up and I have to thank my friend Sam from Sam Barnes, he is Oz fanboy. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel below. He is funny and sassy and I love him so much so go and check him out. He bought me this book Branded uh, which is part of the Sinner series by Abby Kettner and Missy Kalakiki. This is one of his favourite books I believe and so I hope that I'm going to enjoy it. Fingers crossed that I do. So thank you Sam for giving me this book and I will treasure it forever and I love you loads. I bought these next two books um, on my birthday. They're kind of like a treat to me. I've been eyeing them for quite a long time and I have never actually seen them in hardcover. So when I did I decided that I was going to buy them and that is Van Gogh book one and book two. So book one is Between Sky and Earth and book two is A Prince Without a Kingdom and these are by Timothy D. Fumbel and I'm very very excited. I have like I said been looking at these for quite a while and I've heard really good things about them too and the covers I just love them. Everybody has been hyping this book up and I have been avoiding buying it because I think I saw like one bad review and I was like gee should I get it? I don't know. But I decided that I'm gonna buy it and that is The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. Not only is this book stunning but you know I have heard a lot of good things about it so Hopefully I'll get around to reading it. I should do. Hopefully sooner rather than later. I'm kind of like one of those people that have like contemporary moods every once in a while and I'll just read like 20 contemporary books in a row and then not even look at them for like a few months so contemporary time should hopefully be coming around soon. I got this next one for my birthday. It's from one of my really good friends and I actually really love this book and that is How to Tell If Your Cat Is Plotting to Kill You. I also bought The Beginning Woods by Malcolm McNeil and I have heard amazing things about this book and I really am into those simplistic covers at the moment so of course I like am such an aesthetic person so I went and bought it for its beauty and hopefully its storyline. It is a mystery book and I haven't read a mystery in quite a while so hopefully I will enjoy this one. I got this as a Christmas gift from my lovely friend Lisa who came over for Christmas. The first one I've got is How It Works, The Cat and this book is actually like really really funny. A pet can be great fun. Cats are warm and fluffy, like cuddly toys, and their owners give them lots of time and affection. And just like cuddly toys, they do very little in return. Over thousands of years, we have developed a special relationship with the animals that share our homes. Dogs have evolved to serve many sorts of human needs, and humans have evolved to serve many sorts of cat food. 11 out of 10, fantastic book. These next three books are all by Margaret Atwood. It is a trilogy, I'm pretty sure. I'm not actually... 100% sure what order they go into, but we have The Year of the Flood, Mad, Adam, and Oryx, and Crake. I thought that I was just bad at pronouncing author names, but it turns out that I'm also bad at pronouncing book titles. Second last one is The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adhay, and if you guys follow my Goodreads story on this, I finished The Wrath and the Dawn, and I was waiting at the bookstore before it even open to get this book because I desperately needed to read it. I finished this one already and I absolutely loved it. I, I'm trash for these books to be honest. And the last book that I got in December was from the YA Chronicles and that one is Finding Wonders by Janine Atkins and yeah I really can't wait to get around to reading this one. It was like a poetry collection centered around three girls who basically find the wonders in the world. So there you guys have the book haul for December. I hope you guys all had a lovely December, a lovely Christmas a lovely month depending on whether you celebrate Christmas or not and if you didn't have a lovely time I hope that you guys have a lovely bookish day instead and that many great things happen to you. A quick shout out though to a family friend who couldn't be here for Christmas you were dearly missed and you just have to have your Christmas present when you come back in February. So I turn to you guys to help encourage you to read more and kind of work so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, let me know if you guys think I should do like, the same thing in January